Hello everyone, it is I, Sakamoto, and I'm here with more at the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for Game Boy Color. We got a lot of side quests to do in this episode, so we're gonna get down to business to beat Huns right now. Alright, let's do it. Why am I talking like this? First things first, well, let's go in here and get this heart piece. Yes, indeed. And now, we must go this way. Oh yeah, swimming along the river. If you tap A, like you can hear, probably hear me doing. Uh, while you're swimming, you can swim faster. Um, and now we're gonna play Mambo's Mambo. And here we are in Mambo Spawn. I even think I think even the sign says that's a. It, I think even this sign will say that's what that is. Crazy Tracy, Mambo Spawn. Yep. All right. So we're about to have a ghost following us. And he's special. All right. So we need to take him uh, over near the beach, I believe. So we're gonna do that real quick. Ah! Whoops. Out of my way, chicken. Sea urchins, Octorox. I actually don't know what those sea urchin things are called. Okay. This is the house we need to go to. Here, enter my house. You can't move during this. He goes around checking everything out. Nostalgia. Unchanged. Ooh, ooh. Enough. Cemetery. Take me. My grave. I wonder what happens when you use the... Um... Magic powder in there. I guess we'll find out later, because we got... I think we have to go back in there. Oh, frick. Oh, okay. There's a secret seashell over here. Yay! Ah, oh, crap. easier to go this way. Guess we'll just find out real quick. Get out of my way! Oh yeah. We got this. Huh. 
Okay, we're almost there. That's his gravestone over there. We got to just go to that. We're good. Thank you. A job in my home. Look inside. Bye. Bye. Hoot, it has been some time since I passed cross, lad. I must dive into the waters of Martha's Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward! Hoot! Okay. Oh yeah, photo off time. Ah, how I love pictures. Hey, Kion, what are you doing here? You wanna know about that ghost? I bet he's happy thanks to you. Are you ready for a picture? We need to go look at the pictures at some point. I guess when we're all done. I call this... I was very afraid. Afraid. Smile. Oh, he's right there. Okay, there might be a secret seashell here, or it's what the ghost was talking about. Okay, it's not here. Whoops. Hey, everything's okay, don't worry. Everything's somehow magically back to normal. <laughs> anyway. Um... We gotta get the bow and arrows. Okay, um... Okay, we gotta go to the ghost- back to the ghost house real quick. Secret Seashell, and then only one more, which we will also be able to get, and we can get our, you guessed it, the level 2 sword. Alright, actually we'll get this one real quick. Another one right here. Only one more. Man, just want to get it. Ha 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 ha. Okay, you know what, let's just get a heart piece real quick, that I know how to get. Um... I thought I already got this one, but maybe I'm wrong. earlier.
I had a brain fart for a second there. Oh, we can't go that way anyways. Wait, can we? Nope. Okay. I kind of want to know if he's going to say, Wow, what a weird object again, but screw that. Wow, that was pretty cool. Okay. Now we need to go back to the ghost house. this way. Okay. No, that wasn't it. I think. I get lost, I'll just go back to the beach. Yeah, this is how we got to the... Okay. Got to the ghost graves grave site. Haha! He he! Oh, I got this! Ooh. You know? I wonder how you can get over there. Oh, that's interesting. Can you get over there? Ah, I see. Not yet. I think you might not be able to go there at all, technically. I don't know if the boomerang will be able to get you over there. You can get the boomerang uh, later in the game. After you get the magnifying glass, but... I guess you come out of that... Oh, uh, crap. Uh, stairwell, and then you can do whatever. Here we go. Um, oh, it's under one of these pots. Here we go. Alright. I've collected a lot of them. But before we get the sword, since we're nearby, we might as well go get the uh, bow and arrow. Stealing them, just kidding. What I love about the bow and arrow and this bows and arrows are the same. Oh crap, I wonder if you can carry more than 20, Jesus. Okay, I think you can only carry 30 though. Let's find out. Maybe you can carry 40. Ay, caramba! Kid, you have a lot to learn. Try to buy something you have no use for. Okay, so you can't carry more than 30. What I love about the bow and arrows in this game is you just press the button, and bam, it just comes out and shoots really fast. Freaking awesome. Okay. Um. I guess we'll go get the next the level two sword. Aha. 
that. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny. Everything's in my way! Get out of the way! No! I'm gonna get a stronger sword so I can beat the crap out of you easier. <laughs> Haha! -ha. My job here is finished. Oh heck yeah. You've got a new sword. You should put your name on it right away. Lasers, 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 lasers. Aha. Eat my sword lasers. Okay, now we gotta go get another heart piece. Alright, so it around the castle. Um oh, hang on a second. I have a little wait a minute, Link. Okay. Yeah, I think that's where it is. If I'm not mistaken. I believe we can get to it by going... Crap. This way. Hopefully there's a way out of this situation. I think there is. Okay, good. Wait, I messed up. Can you go under the mo uh, bridge? I wonder. I think you can in a... Point to the Past. But a different castle, obviously. Okay. Alright, we gotta do a lot of swimming, and it's gonna be very annoying, but we will achieve the goal of getting another heart piece. Woohoo! Another heart piece! Yay! Uh, okay, so we can go up that ladder thingy. Hello guys, how are you doing? Oh, no, it's over here. Anything? No. Oh well. Okay, we gotta swim all the way back. Uh. So is it over here? That would be over there. Might be the right, like right over here. No. I'm gonna feel like an idiot if I don't find a heart piece. There it is. Okay, good. And now we can swim all the way back to... <laughs> uh, okay. Over there land. Back to where we came from, Isle. Back to where we came from, place. Back to where we came from, land? I don't know. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> Okay, can we go this way? I think we can. Okay, got that heart piece. Got the other heart piece. Uh... Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got three of them. And that's what we were trying to do. Hey, I can't use my lasers anymore. How dare you? Took away my lasers. I should like use the lasers for longer than just having full hearts. But that wouldn't be fair to the bad guys, now would it? Infinite spiders! That's how you get rupees. Okay, um.
Okay, now... Uh, we need to go to Animal Lit Village. And I'm all village, because we got a bunch of trade route stuff to do. Oh, hello. I guess you don't have to actually enter the portals, you just need to be in the screen. That's where we want to go. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus! How sweet! Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Yes. I would like you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright who lives on the border of the mysterious forest, please? I remember him. He traded an hibiscus for a goat's letter. Great? I don't want to hit you, I just want to see if you talk to me. Whatever. to the other cuckoo as well. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy! And look, the letter came with a pho photograph! Oh, it's Princess Peach. But it says Christine for some reason. Hmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Fine. You got a broom as your reward for Mr. Wright. But that photo was not of... Yeah, anyways. Okay. So now we need to go to May Village and bring this broom, or you can, or you can go to Animal Village because she's there in both places at the same time for some reason, like a Schrodinger's cat type scenario. Um, we need to bring it to uh, the sweeping lady, Elroyra's wife. I don't know her name, or if she even has one. Hello, Chain Chomp. Bow Wow. Yeah, she's like, I don't have a broom. Ah. Yahoo! Yahoo! A new broom? For me? It is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, in return, you can have this fishing hook I found when I swept by the riverbank. You exchanged broom for the fishing hook. Fishing hook. <laughs> what will the fishing hook become? Oh, I think I have an idea. Now we need to go to Martha's Bay. So we need to go anyways to the dungeon. Um... And that's where we will go. Hang on. Okay. A little bit annoying to get there, but... Will going to Animal Village be faster? Yeah, it will. Okay.
Ah, wait. Oh yeah, we need to go this way. Get out of my way! Okay, so this is gonna be something, one of those things in video games you don't actually really think to do without, and you probably will need a, would need a guide for. Um, I mean, maybe you would think to do this. I don't know, but either way, we need to go over here and dive right here. And we have our fishing friend. I mean, who would think, who, seriously, who would think to do that? I mean, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you would, I mean, maybe you would, maybe you just would like swim it around and you'd just be like, oh, let me see if I can go into this fridge and then, well, look, I can. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay. Keep your eyes open and watch a pro at work. My, that's a big one. The hook became a necklace. Well, well lucky. I can't wait to see what I'll catch next. Alright, now we just, the next item, actually right around the corner pretty much. Just watch out for the Zoras. Remember the mermaid that was swimming? She needs the necklace. Ah, that's it, that's my necklace, give it, give it back. I'll give you a scale as I said. I don't remember her telling me she'd give me a scale. I promise you'll only take one. You returned the necklace and got a scale of the mermaid's tail. How will you use this? So somewhere in the game you need to take the scale and you put it into something <laughs> and uh you uh get the magnifying glass which is the last item. Oh and that's the catfish's maw in the next dungeon right there. To get to it you have to go over here. This is another weird thing you may not think of and go into there. Go, yeah, here we are. Anyway. I mean, I guess if you're curious and you're like, Oh, I wonder how to get to this dungeon. And then, oh, that looks weird. But either way, we're here now. Oh, boy. And I'm going to leave this episode at that, guys, because this is a pretty convoluted, crazy dungeon. It's going to take a little while to beat, I believe. There's like a mini boss that... You have to fight, and he like you have to fight him like three or four times, I think. And um, we're gonna do that in the next episode. So I hope you look forward to it. I'll see you then. Uh, love you guys. Have a great.